hello hi my name is leah and i am with crafty peacock um i just wanted to welcome you so much to this uh craft event this is our national craft month craft event and of course um my little piece of paper with all my notes on it <laughs> left it in the other room <laughs> so bear with me today <laughs> but um i just wanted to welcome you thank you so much for sticking around it's been a long day of crafting with some amazing, amazing creators. So I hope you found some inspiration today. Um, I know I did. There's a lot of great stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have I have a full hour. So we'll see um, if I can fill that up. I did do a little bit of prepping um, beforehand, uh, and I'll show you all that. But um, I will just start off from the beginning. Um, like I said, my name is Leah Lynch, and I am with Crafty Peacock, and I am going to be working with our Cowhead MDF. This is um, what it looks like when it comes to you, minus the, the white here, um, but this is what it looks like. It's our awesome little um, Cowhead MDF. This is 17 inches, I believe, um, and what I did prior was I just painted it white. Um, I just wanted it to be dry and no issues <laughs> when I came on live for you guys. So um, all I did was paint it white um, and they come super, um, super smooth. So I didn't sand it or anything. Um, this is from Magnolia. I will also be using um, our, I'm gonna show you one that's made, but um, this is also gonna go with it. This is our little cow head beaded garland. Um, this guy's adorable, but it comes with absolutely everything and I'm going to show you how to make it too. Um, so this is uh, the little bag it comes in and I even have our uh, handy dandy tassel maker. So it's super helpful. That way if you're doing a lot, you don't have to keep rubbing them over your fingers because it gets raw after a while. <laughs> um, but it makes it really easy to put the little um, tie on it too. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and oh, hello, I can see comments now. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you all that are still here. It's been a long day. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Tammy. Hi, sweet Tracy. Oh, and if you all did not see uh, Miss Tracy, she was on before me. Uh, she did the best bee themed goodies. Like I was like, oh, look at the sunflowers. I even have my little bee guy here too. And I was like, oh, they're so great. But check hers out. Um, She's super darling, so yeah. Um, next, we will be doing, um, I haven't really decided if I'm gonna add a tag to the cow head just because we're gonna do all cow stuff today. Um, but we also have these great little mini tags and they are called um, cow tags, I think. And it comes three to a pack. And I was thinking of maybe doing one of these guys like, put a little hole in there. <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> but we'll see. Hi, Tanya. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, so as you may know, this is part of our National Craft Month event. This is um, put on by Magnolia Design Company, and um, I am so thankful to be able to come on here and do this with you guys. Um, it is a fabulous company that I've learned to really love, um, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but I just want to share really quick what I'm going to do. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to start off with our um, cow pattern stencil. This is a 15 by 15. It is a repeating pattern, and what that means is that you can do a large surface, and if it's too, like if it's too big for this, you can always line it up and continue further so that's really cool I love that it's a repeating pattern because I've had to do that a few times so it's very nice um, and as you can see I've, I've used it before it's, um, you get I get maybe 10 to 12 uses out of these guys so it's been really really nice and um, yeah so and I know since a lot of you have seen a ton of the uh, creators on earlier um, I will do my best not to be repetitive because <laughs> I know I'm sure you guys have heard a bunch of everything today <laughs> um, and please don't mind me, I'm, I'm a little nervous, so bear with me today. Uh, this is maybe like my fifth live, so. But I absolutely love creating and doing all this fun stuff, so I love that you guys are here with me. Um, so where am I going? Yes, next, <laughs> we have our cow pattern stencil. What I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna start 
this project, um, what I did is I put the name of the stencil on the top, so or wherever, just so I know which side is the back, because these are reusable. You don't want to throw them away. And you also want to keep the backer that it comes on. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Dawn. And thank you, Anne-Marie. You know, I've been seeing so many cows that I've just been like, I think I need to work on that. And then I have a little surprise at the end um, for the cow that I didn't show you guys but it's super cute. <laughs> so what I do for my large patterns or any of my large stencils, um, it's because I have to be really careful. I don't want the stickies to stick back on each other. So I have this very well used mat here. Um, this is our tacky towel that we have at Magnolia. And sorry about that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it down. I pulled it back a little bit. I'm gonna lay it down. Let's make sure you can see all that. And then I'm just gonna pull it. And then that way I don't have to worry about any issues of it um, folding back on itself. You love cow design, Tanya? Awesome. Oh, love, love, love it. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a little fuzzing. Um, see if we can get them both in here. What I'm doing is I'm fuzzing this. I just, the stencil, I didn't want it to be too sticky because if it's too, too sticky, then I could have issues pulling it up from my surface because if it's too sticky, when I pull it up, it could stretch the stencil and then it, um, the integrity of the stencil isn't, you know, the way it should be, so. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna shake that guy off. It's a new technique right there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna line this up. So technically, if I wanted to, I could probably, yeah, no. So I'm a perfectionist um, and I like things to be very uniform and, you know, all that good stuff. I don't know if it's a, a positive trait <laughs> or a negative, but it is what it is, right? Um, so I'm actually going to be putting this stencil down and then, um, as you can see, it doesn't completely, let's try this here, um, completely cover the entire surface, surface, surface. So what I'll do is I'll use my chalk paste on here and I'll wipe it down and I'll put a little on the end and then we'll get that one covered. Um, so there we go. And I, and I totally left all my notes in the bathroom. That's so funny. So I am going blindly here guys, sorry. <laughs> um, so right now I'm just, I'm just making sure that my surface and my stencil are cohesive. Um, I'm making sure that there's no air bubbles underneath because if you have any air bubbles, then your medium will go underneath the stencil and then you can have some feathering or bleeding. Um, and we don't want that. And that's what's so cool about these stencils is that you get such a clean, a clean, crisp image each time um, you do this. So my fuzzy cloth is actually double-sided. So this is a Magnolia fuzzy cloth. Um, we have both sides. It, it's very well used, as you can see. Um, <laughs> I just saw the comment, so I wanted to address it. But yeah, it's, um, it's double-sided. So I use this one for drying, and then I use this one for the, the fuzzing aspect of it. Hey, Amy, how are you? So happy to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for supporting me and everybody else today. Um, so yes, I'm just making sure my stencil's done really, really well. We just want a good connection between the surface and the, the, the stencil. Um, and then we also have this bad boy here, which intimidates me, but um, it is our handheld squeegee and it actually works really well in when going over large surfaces, if you wanna do it that way. Um, my little trip here, my little tick, tick, trip, tip, <laughs> tip and trick. <laughs> the nerves are getting the best of me. My little tip here is I go from the inside out. It helps um, get, make it a, a really good um, connection. So, breathe deep. <laughs> um, this is our Magnolia Design um, Coal Black Chalk Paste. Chalk Paste is, is not paint. It's not ink um, and it's not necessarily only chalk. Um, it is a, it, it's a chalk medium that is water-based. So basically this can be used on 
I mean, anything. I've even done um, a stencil, a little mini stencil on my daughter's arm. We did like a little tattoo and we did a little chalk paste because it's non-toxic. Kids can use it. It works really well um, for the fun stuff like that. We've even done parties, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and slap on some black here. And then we're just going to cover this whole thing and go from there. And if there are any questions that um, I have missed, please, please keep them going. Um, there will be somebody to either answer them or I will come back to them at the end of this live and I will go through everything. And so now I am just spreading the butter on the bread. Actually, I like to say I'm going to spread my avocado on my toast because I'm Californian and that's what we do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I do love avocado toast though. <laughs> um, secondly, I did want to mention that we do have a Google form. I would love for y'all to fill that out. We're giving away prizes, um, gift cards, all sorts of fun stuff. We've already given away a few um, and it's just been, it's been super, super fun. And then this next thing I don't want to forget to mention is that we have an amazing sale going on today too. So if you see something you like, today's the best day to get on that because everything is 10% off. So can't go wrong with a deal, right? So I'm just going over all of the white spots. I just want to go ahead and, and get all of the silk screen. So basically this is a silk screen mesh with our vinyl. Um, and it just, it's super easy. It cleans up well. They're reusable. I mean, it, you can have girls night out. Like I done a couple parties in my garage where a bunch of my girlfriends will come over and we'll just have some snacks. We get to chat and they get to go home with something they made and it's fun and we get to connect. Um, and I think that is one of the main things that I love so much about this company is that everybody here is just super friendly, super willing to help out. Um, and we've all just become really good friends. So it's, it's really an amazing community. All right. And now we go. We're going to pull it up. And we have a black and white cow. Oh, it's adorable. All right, guys. Here's that for the moment. And now I'm going to go. I'm going to get the other side. Boop, 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 avocado toast. That's right, Dan. Oh, hey, Danielle, how are you? <laughs> um, yeah, it's really good, actually. If you, what I do is I just get the avocado, put a little salt and pepper in it, mash it up really well, and just put it on my toast after I butter it. I've, I've gotten into it a lot. It's been very tasty. And you know, it has the good protein and the good fats and all that stuff, right? <laughs> So right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a, um, just a disinfecting wipe and I'm gonna use that um, over this side here just to kind of clean up my stencil. Um, I'll take it to the sink later, but in the meantime, we're just gonna do that and get some of it off so I can use it again. But it does get messy when you don't have a sink, but that's okay. If you're not messy, you're not having enough fun, right? All right, we're gonna take that and then, you know what? This one might not be super cohesive, but that's okay. I think I'm just gonna um, do one of these instead of trying to dry that whole thing off super quick. Um, so while I'm drying this, I did wanna mention um, that, you know, there, it is it is a large community here you know this is not like this is not something that you do just like as a business or because you're trying to not work um for the man anymore <laughs> um you can do it for whatever reason you know i have a lot of people who ask me you know well i just want to have some fun and i just want to get some things at a discount or you know, I just really like the kits and they're, you know, it's an all-in-one kit and it has everything there that you need. Um, you know, can I just do that? And absolutely, you know, you can, you can join as a creator and do whatever you want with that. You can just, you know, use it as a hobby, which is absolutely fine, which is what a lot of people do. Um, 
But for me, like I started off as a hobby and I just loved it so much. And the people were so amazing that I, I got sucked in and I, and I kind of, you know, I was like, all right, well, we're going to do this now. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to do this little ear here. We're going to get that guy. And you know, if I wasn't doing a live and I was doing this separately, I would have taken this to the sink and I would have washed it out completely. And then I would have lined it up with these other little um, cow spots. But since we don't have that um, opportunity right now, we're just gonna do it this way. Let's see if there's one that I can, oh, is that the same? Oh, I think we made it. I think we got it. Hopefully I'm not smearing the rest of it. But you know, the cool thing is with the chalk paste too, is that it dries pretty quickly. So I don't have to wait until, you know, the next day to try to, you know, finish a project because it just, it, it dries super quick. All right, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Let me get my little stencil out and I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I need to make sure it's flat before I stencil. And since there's black on it already, I wanna make sure that I'm not touching it everywhere. So we're gonna make sure it's down really well. And then we're gonna get our, um, our chalk paste and continue. Let's fingers crossed for this one. Mm, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that though. We're gonna get that one. There we go. Okay guys, let's see. Oh, it worked. Love it. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Gotta love it. This stuff is great. I have ink. I have black uh, chalk paste all over my hands. Give me one second and I'll pull it up for you guys. <laughs> so how will I, yes, I will seal this um, once I'm all finished. What I'm going to use is of course I don't have it here. Um, what I have is a Rust-Oleum clear um, sealer and I use that for most of my stuff. Um, I also have a, it's a Mod Podge spray. Um, not, not the goop, the spray. The spray sealer works amazing. So here's the cow head so far. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to let that dry for a little bit. Make sure I don't have black ink, or I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying ink. I think it's probably because I made ink um, pillow wraps earlier today. And those are cute. I don't know if y'all have seen those, but that's one of our newer items, um, some pillow wraps. And uh, they, they, it's so great because you can just decorate your pillows for every season. You don't have to like get a whole new pillow. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yes, I digress. I do that a lot. <laughs> so once again, I'm so sorry if I'm missing any comments. I'm um, trying to make sure I'm, I'm covering all bases. So, but I know that um, there's some lovely ladies that are um, helping me out here too. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Danielle. Yeah. I mean, it's something that this could definitely be put outside. Um, I could seal it, you know, you could, or, you know, you could seal it and you can put it outside. I actually did... Um, for my house, I did the, the numbers on the front of my house in our chalk paste. We've had the storms. It's been crazy lately, and it's still up there. Like, I, I mean, that stuff's lasted forever, so it, it's fabulous. I absolutely love it. Um, and I know once I get off this live, I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I forgot that, and I forgot that, <laughs> and I forgot to share that. So, yeah, but yeah, it's been really great. Um, once again, don't forget to fill out the Google form. Um, we are giving away some fun prizes, um, some discounts and gift cards and all sorts of fun stuff. And so I know you can't see it, but I just went ahead and put my stencil in a water bath that I have over there. Um, I just got like a, a dish bin from the Dollar Tree and just filled it up with water and I just put it over there until I'm ready to use it. All right, well, so since we have this fabulous guy right Right here we are going to move on to the next stage I'm gonna put this over here all right and now we have um, our little cow tag okay so you guys are gonna help me figure this one out okay 
So I don't know which one I want to do with the cow stencil. So we either have, we either have the trio here that we can do with the cow. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we can have that, okay. We also have, whoop, let's see if I can grab them both. Welcome to the farm, that one. Welcome to the farm or farm life. Which one guys, which one? Help me out. <laughs> farm life, farm life. Okay, we got one for farm life. We got one for welcome. You know this is gonna be fun. Everybody's gonna pick different ones. Um, all right, well, it looks like farm life was the first one up. So we are gonna do farm life. Awesome. And, you know, and for this too, there's a couple different ways you could um, display it. I mean, we could wrap it in jute and make a tassel out of it. We could add it to the ear, like a little earring. Um, but I do have a little surprise over here for the cow, so it might make a little bit different. The last one, farm life. Okay, looks like we're doing, oh, sorry. Ah, well, you know what I could do is I could do farm life on this side and welcome to the farm on the other side. How awesome, right? The stuff we have here is so cool. It's so versatile and we can do so many different things and you could just, I mean, everything you can make here is pretty, you can make any of our services almost um, double-sided. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome that way. So this um, mini stencil came from our, um, our farm minis. There are 12 of these little guys um, per sheet. It's an eight by 11 sheet and um, yeah, and you get 12 of them and they're about three, three by three inches. Uh, they fit really well on our chalk circles. Um, those are just basically little circles, very similar to our cow head, but it's a circle. We have all sorts of shapes. I don't know if you can see. See, there's bunnies, right? Not bunnies, eggs right there. Those are our surfaces too. Um, actually, all of that's magnolia. <laughs> don't look at my stash. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this guy on here. We're gonna do it like so. Make sure it's nice and even. And then I'm gonna use one of our special um, pink squeegees. We got these come out um, during February for Valentine's Day in spring. It's very cute, right? Aren't they adorable? Yeah, you wanna see the stash? Which way do I go? That, that's a stash. There's that. And then, and then, I mean, there's even more up there. That, that's a stash. Oh, and that's a very easy way that I, um, manage my stencils just in case. I know uh, one of the gals earlier today was gonna post a picture of her rolling rack. I think it was Jen who mentioned it. Um, but yeah, there's that. It's very helpful. <laughs> I know this is turning into a, let's look at Leah's craft room. <laughs> okay, so we have the farm life and I guess, yeah, we're gonna do that one in black. And then I have um, a little bow that we're gonna work on the top there and maybe turn it into a Highland cow. Maybe, it's a secret. Do you think I should make the A in the farm like a different color? Like red maybe? To like add a pop of something or something? You know what? We're just gonna stick with it, Leah. Don't try to confuse yourself. Okay. So as I'm doing this, I did want to mention, um, I think one of the other gals mentioned it. I think it was Jill actually who mentioned it earlier, but this was something that I was also gonna touch base on was, you know, I don't, I don't usually get too personal, you know, on lives um, and things of that sort, but I will share that this, I don't want to call it a hobby because it's not a hobby. This is like, my my life my job my dream look how stinking cute like look at those clean lines like you can't get that with just well i can't get that with writing it but um i did want to mention you know i 
I do um, suffer from anxiety and depression and I'm being 100% honest with you right here. Um, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It is being in this community has helped so tremendously. Um, I mean, I've been doing this now for about two years and the people that I've met, the connections that I've created, the joy that I get from sharing, you know, my ideas or tips and tricks or things like that. Um, sharing something that could help somebody else, you know, it's just, it's been really, really, really nice. And I don't want to get all cheesy or anything, but if you're just looking for something to like quiet the mind sometimes, um, this is, this is like my go-to, you know, if I'm ever stressing out or struggling or having a tough time, like I just come in here in my room and I just create and I always leave feeling better. Yeah. So that's my PSA. The more, you know, <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell I'm a little bit goofy, so yeah. <laughs> So, all right, so we got this guy and then we have our little tag. I still don't know if I'm gonna attach it to the cow or not. Let's see if I can pick this up without messing it up. So something like that. Um, Quiet the mind is perfect. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah, it's fabulous ther therapy. It's absolutely perfect therapy. Cause you know, my stencils don't talk back to me. They don't give me a hard time. They don't tell me I'm using the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> they're good to me <laughs> all right guys so we have those two tags and so um it's actually i have a lot more time than i expected so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and uh, make this little guy well thank you for listening i appreciate it thank you oh tammy thank you so much yes Thank you. Thank you so much for that, you guys. I appreciate that. It's, you know, it's never easy getting vulnerable um, on a platform like this, you know, because you never know. But um, I don't know. I figure if, if somebody else could benefit from, you know, just getting a little bit of, just a little bit of purpose or just a feeling of, connection or you know being together um i don't know that's just great and i'll say there's a few gals that are on here today um who i've just recently met and uh they've become like the best of friends so it's really amazing um so yeah we have so anyways i go right squirrel um so we have our uh little cow head tassel and it comes with all of the beads so you don't have to like you don't have to go anywhere you have to do anything it's just super it's just so easy i mean it kind of makes kind of makes me like never leave my house because it's like i'll just have this delivered in amazon yay go amazon <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna try to find the end of this guy here um and so what i normally do when i start with my tassels is um i I always do the um the the garland beaded the the garden beaded the, the little fluffy guys at the end. <laughs> I do those first. <laughs> yeah, so I mean how cute are these? And it comes with black, tan, white. So I keep going the wrong way because it's like a mirror on the camera. So that's why I'm going the opposite way. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a three and a half. So um, this little tassel maker has been super helpful. It keeps my fingers from getting torn up, you know, my hands from getting torn up from the from um, the jute. But um, you can make them any length. You can do four and a half, uh, three and a half, or two and a half. And I usually just stick with the three and a half. I don't know why, it's just, seems to be what works for me. And I normally go around like 10 times, I'm sorry, 20 times, um, depending on how thick I want it. If I want it super bushy, I will do 30. Uh, and then um, 
Yeah, I mean, you could do as much as you want. I mean, it all, really all just depends on how bushy you want your, your tassel. So I think this was 30. No, this was 20. Yeah, the tassel maker is a new. I wonder why you haven't seen it, Sherry. <laughs> I know you're on that site. <laughs> you know, I probably haven't shared it with you guys yet. That is my bad. Okay. Of course, we all have all the tangles in our tassels. Don't get your tassel in a tangle, guys. Um, here we go. Let's work this here. So we're going to go a couple more times. I think I'm just going to go until it looks good. And worst case scenario, if I ever um, run out, I can always, you know, I, I have more. But um, honestly, it's probably a better idea if you do the beads first, because then you'll know how much you have left over to do the tassel at the bottom. <laughs> I'm having some issues here. <laughs> There we go. Oy. Oh, well, then, Sherry, it looks like you're going to have to go back again, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, honey. I know. We could just go all day with, like, all the things that we have on there. Um, so my other trick, um, it's not really a trick. Sometimes I would use um, hot glue. Um, I would just, like, stick this in a little hot glue. But I'm going to put a little tape on it. Um, it just helps keep it from getting frayed while I'm going through all the, the beads. And it just makes it a lot easier. Hi, Renee. Thanks so much for popping on. It's good to see you. Renee was on earlier today. And she made the cutest bun bun. I love that stencil, by the way. Um she made it's called little hair and oh that pillow oh i made that one on a pillow and um i did some watercolor on that one and that one is actually in my living room right now that was probably my favorite stencil uh so yeah what color are we doing first you guys you guys you guys what's going on here it's, it's never never a clean moment here i tell you <laughs> So, um, have you guys been having fun today? Like, is there something that you saw today that you've never seen done before? I'd love to hear it. I saw some pretty cool stuff today that I've never seen before. Do these go in any order? I don't think so. I think they go in whatever order you want them to go in. And so I think I'm just gonna do it that way then. I wasn't gonna make this on the live because I thought it would be boring watching me string beads but then i can see that uh it's only 4 30 so <laughs> we're gonna string some beads and then i'm gonna show you a couple um bow options that i have too so we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible so i don't bore you guys but yeah if you have any questions at the moment um you know i am i am all here all day and I'm sure there's a couple other ladies that are on here that can answer any questions as well. Um, but yeah, so I mean, a little bit more about about the company. You know, this is it. It, it doesn't seem like it's. I don't even know how to explain it. It's not a company to me, right? Like I have. I mean, I feel like it's more of like a family atmosphere so it's only myself and my daughter here and so having that feeling of family is um it's really nice you know like it's uh sometimes it could get it can get lonely and you know being able to hop on and chat with some other fellow crafters that do exactly what you do and you guys can chat and connect and have fun and you know it's just really nice um and everybody's so helpful it's it's just a great company you know apparently i can't talk and and go in a pattern though because the brain is like too much information all at once <laughs> oh debbie thank you so much for for stopping by yes yes heidi's amazing uh, heidi has so many amazing uh ideas i just don't know where she gets them all but thank you so much for stopping by um so yeah, so if there are things that you see here today, um, you can go on the Magnolia Design Co. website. It's magnoliadesignco.com, so co.com. And 
you can you can look at all of the stencils, all of the surfaces, um, all of the goodies. And if you do decide that this is something that you might want to pursue, and if you're going to be purchasing a couple, you might as well get a discount. Um, you can actually look up in um, your area um, a creator. So if you don't know anybody personally or somebody didn't personally invite you to this, um, you can always go on the website and type in your zip code and it will bring up um, anybody, all the, all the creators that are closest to you. So you can connect with somebody that's close to you. Um, if you see somebody that you liked from today, you can also type their name in. Um, but definitely go back to whoever um, invited you because they know what they're doing, right? All right, so we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Um, but yeah, we offer a 35% discount on absolutely everything. And the, the, the thing that got me was the, um, was the no rules and the no quotas and the no limits and all the things that, you know, comes into a lot of affiliate businesses, you know. Um, I could buy as much as I wanted, I could buy as little as I wanted, and I would never have to worry about my um, being a creator going away because I didn't spend enough money, you know. So it's it's just really great. Like I've, I've worked this however, um, that's worked the best for me and you know like i said it started off as a hobby and then over the last two years it just started to gain some momentum and then i decided hey maybe i'll maybe well, i can actually see what i can do with this and uh yeah educated myself got some help from the people within the company um and they're amazing for that and um it's just been it's just been that ever since <laughs> And there's so many ways to use what we have here too, you know, like you can mix and match uh, pretty much everything. I did that one wrong way, didn't I? Uh, black, something. Yep, there we go. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> can we just rewind? <laughs> Evo, pause. Oh, hey, Julie. Oh my goodness. Hi, you caught me live. I'm so excited. I'm so happy you came to hang out with me. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I just did, um, I went ahead and did the beads. Okay. So what you're going to do next, am I mixed the last two up? Is that what it was? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, you got a good eye. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for telling me, Pamela. Pamela. Thanks. Thanks, Susie. I appreciate you guys. All right, perfect. There we go. So um, next I'm going to uh, go ahead and attach our little cow head to it. So I'm gonna show my little sneaky way. I don't have one of those fancy bead stuffer guys. I don't know. It's, uh, I think Jen earlier today was using it and um, it looked really helpful to get like the twine the rope back up into the beads but this is my trick I just leave my I leave my tape at the end and before I make it taut on the other end I take this piece and I just stick it through the hole and then I mean I'm sure you guys know this but I just stick it through the hole and then I pull it up and then I tug it and it's a very nice clean um there's no you know the uh the knot goes up inside the hole so it's super nice and neat and clean so I do that for probably two or three for or however long I have and then I cut off the the end so that way it looks super clean there's no little frillies hanging off and then ta-da and then I'm just gonna cut that one <laughs> like that <laughs> so now we have this guy And so if you wanted to, you could even put a stencil on this guy. Um, 
I mean, if we wanted to. I'm not going to, but, you know, they definitely would fit as well. Um, we're working on you, Bridget. Oh, the boot and hat. Nice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm so glad that you got it. Oh. oh, thanks, Danielle. Oh, gosh, yeah. Lots of, man, it's been so crazy with the weather lately. My goodness. Um, it was like 80 degrees here. I live in Southern California, um, right outside Los Angeles. And I went out for a walk today and it was, it was super hot. I was like, wow, what's going on? Okay. So I have my little tassel that I have, um, wrapped around. I am going to get one strip that so I can tie it around, which I forgot to grab. So we're just going to take this guy from here. We're going to go like this, and then we're going to go like that. All right. Love those, by the The black and white beads, you know, those actually, um, they came in a kit. Um, this is a DIY garland kit from Magnolia. So basically, it comes with the, the jute all of these beads, the cow head, and you can make your own garland. So yeah, these beads are super cute. And I'm actually gonna show you guys another um, piece that I did with the cow print. Um, Cause I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do too. <laughs> and I was like, I think I want to do some, um, something fun, something, for me so okay so we're gonna pull this off and then make it a little bit tighter oh what oh hey another southern california awesome rolling heights yes yeah that's not what if that's a couple hours right i'm not very good with geography here i haven't lived here my whole life so <laughs> um so i just pulled it off and then it kind of looks like a little infinity symbol um, and so next, all you got to do is just chop off those guys and we're good. And then we have our little baby tassel. And next step, what you could also do is wrap this around to give it kind of a finished look. Like that. And then tie it in the back. So I'm going to do that and get that done and then we are going to get this cow head finished okay all right um bum, 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 bum. okay second don't forget y'all that there the everything on the website today is 10 percent off i think i already mentioned that but i don't want to i don't want you to miss out um because that's huge i mean that's like basically covering your shipping hopefully yeah, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, you just let me know. And I, yes, Renee, I know cows are your favorite. Wait till the end. I have a little, a little trick, a little trick, a little secret. I think I'm going to attempt to turn my cow into a Highland cow, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm just tying this one up here. Oh, whoops. I'm going to do that one over because I did it wrong. Um, there we go. I needed to cut my string. Okay, now we got it. <laughs> I had so much time and now I'm going to run out. That's what happens when you have ADD and get distracted. But that's okay. That's why this crafting is so awesome is because you know what? It, it doesn't have to look a certain way. It can just look the way that it is and it will work out just fine all right so we got our guys Ta-da! cute i love it okay okay this is what we're gonna do for this guy so this is i have a uh pre-made this just because i didn't think i would have enough time um but i pre-made a bow i don't if I like it though. So I have this um this bow and I was going to do one of these but then I also have 
Okay, so let's see if we can see it this way first. Um, so I have this bow and I have these cool buttons. I don't know, I just like to play with things sometimes, but there's a little sunflower and I thought it might be a nice little pop of color on the black and white. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know if I have any other options at this point. So, <laughs> so do you think we should do a bow and then a tag on the other side or no tag, just a bow or tag bow? Same side, where'd it go? Here, here we go, something. <laughs> so backwards, something like that or that or just like and not use this for now bow and tag bow and tag yeah all right <laughs> let's do the bow okay i already have my trusty glue gun all set up and ready to go so we're just gonna glue this puppy down puppy cow we're gonna glue this cow down no that doesn't sound right yeah i know i'm a special breed you guys but at least I'm fun. <laughs> I'm a little crazy, but I'm fun. <laughs> Bow on one side, tag on the other. Awesome, thank you. Is it pronounced um, Leta or Lita? I don't know if, I don't wanna mispronounce your name, but thank you so much for your tips and tricks and ideas. Oh. Can you put the tag in the middle of the bow with the button on the hole? What? Pew. Look at you crafty people. Let's see if that, let's see if that would work. With the button, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, fumble fingers, that one. Okay, I still have 15 minutes, it looks like. Let's try it. Yeah, let's see. Am I fun or crazy? Just kidding. I don't think crazy is a bad thing. It's like when people are like, you're so weird. I'm like, you say that like it's a bad thing. Definitely not. Definitely not a bad thing. Oh, darn it. I put it on the wrong side. Okay. Same thing with my kid. Uh, I have an 11 year old and um, she, she, people will say like that she's weird and she just says, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I love it. I was like, yeah, girl, get it. <laughs> yeah, that cow print, the cow print's so awesome. I have to show you the other thing I made. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have, so we should do the sunflower too, right? Let's see if I can, let's see, you know what? I think that's a fabulous idea. Let's see, let's see, let's see if I can. I'm so backwards here. <laughs> here we go. Let's see if. All right. That will. We're just going to do that for now. Oh, gosh. Oops. Struggle City, you guys. Struggle. Struggle City. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> So I think that would actually be cute. That might be really cute. I think I'm gonna have to mess with that. I like the tag and the bow. Thanks for that tip. That was awesome. I like it. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to work that in there somehow. Let's see. I think I wanna do the um, the sunflower too. I think that was a really good idea. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can get, I might glue that one on top instead. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie these together so they don't fall apart. And then I wanna show you guys. So we have that, okay, so we have this part. It's so hard, I have a small space here, so let's see. So, kinda like that. Should we have it hanging off or up? up? No, no, we should have it right there. Right there, what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna do the, the two holes. I just know that I'll, I'll run out of time. <laughs> Thank you. 
A little lower on the blow. Please don't hide too much of the pretty bow. Aw, you're so cute. You guys are so adorable. I adore you. Yeah, I think I'm going to play with it um, a little bit and see the best positioning for it. Um, do you think... Do you think we should put this little, the little sunflower on there too, or leave the, the sunflower out? It's kind of hard to show you. There's eh, eh, that. But I also, I also have these beautiful guys that I was thinking I could also try to do. I have this, and I was thinking maybe I could try that. And then the tag underneath. Why can't I get the angling here? What's going on? <laughs> there we go. So let me do this. Something like that? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to play with it a little bit. I don't know if I like the sunflower. The sunflower is cute. It's cute. The button's cute. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, before I don't show you the surprise at the end. I made myself some hair. It's a, it's a beard. You can make yourself a beard even. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> this is rope from the Dollar Tree. And I'll show you this really quick what I did. Because I think what I'm going to try to do... I think it's too long, but I'm thinking of doing a little, I mean, obviously the tape's not going to be there, but, um, you know, like a Highland cow, kind of, mini hula skirt, oh my gosh, you guys are killing me, I love it, <laughs> that would be so cute, <laughs> okay, looks like we're making a skirt, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Vonda. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so glad I could get you that stencil. Um, I love it when I can help people out with that kind of stuff. That makes me so happy. Okay, so what I did for this, um, for the hair is, it was just the, what is it? It comes in like a bundle like this from the Dollar Tree, right? I just cut them in four inches um, and then I just pull them apart in pieces. And so they'll come apart and then in like threes and then I pull each strand separately so they kind of fluff up, right? So those are all separate and then I do these all separately as well. So it takes a little bit of time. Um, one reason why I started this before I came on um, and what I did is I just took a piece of tape and just laid it out on my table here. You can see that. Um, and it holds all of it together. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this on the actual cow. I think the way they transferred from the winter. Oh, Lisa, that's a great idea. You guys are so creative. Look at you going. My goodness, yes. Oh, the stencil from the um, the Marsh Craft Club. Oh, where did I put it? Mm. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it really quick. I think I have it. I think it's right here. Big stash? No, maybe? Yes. Okay, this was this was from our um, craft club for March. Uh, this one is really cool. And that's what she's saying to take that. You could do some hair with that. Hmm. So many ideas, you guys. Now, now I don't know. Now I'm all squirrely. I'm like, squirrel, how many ideas? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I still like the bow. It's super cute. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this really quick, see if I can get somewhat of a finished product for you before I log off here. Um, but the last things I do want to mention um, are, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for sticking out this late. I know it's late on the East Coast or it's, it's getting late. Um, 
and it's like dinner time so i really appreciate you know y'all coming and hanging out with me um during dinner and on a saturday it really means a lot to me so i really appreciate it um and like i said if you have any questions please put them in the comments i will go back um and read everything and i will respond highland on the back side you know what it's so funny oh my gosh okay Vaughn. you and i are you're like in my head because i'm gonna show you this here let me put this down for a quick second okay so guys this was one that i was working on the other day and i wanted to do something colorful so i did a pink cow and i outlined him in black to give it a little bit of a pop and then I made this little bow for this guy. So here's another way you could do the stencil if you wanted color. Um, my sunflower fell off, but I'm just gonna do that there. And then the cutest thing is that I did another tag. But look at this one. It's Farm Sweet Farm. And look at these beads, y'all. This is what started it all. It was these beads. I got these beads and then I had to do a pink cow. <laughs> I couldn't help it. So yeah, and so this one's gonna go with this little pink guy. But I was thinking I could give this one the hair because she's maybe female. But um, I did start another one on the back. As you can see, I was working on something. <laughs> then I didn't go any further. So Vonda, I, I, I was gonna make it double-sided. <laughs> But um, yeah, I know, so silly. So yes, I'm sorry to get this completely finished. I guess this bow was, didn't quite know what I was doing with the bow, but I think we're gonna put the tag on it. And then I think we're gonna um, get it in there. Yay, I kinda like this, I don't know. Do I like the sunflower? It's cause of my little sunflowers. I wanted to bring some joy. <laughs> Should we do the, the sunflower? I don't know. I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit and then we will go from there. But yeah, so we have this one and this guy, if you wanted to do something different. <laughs> I need like five hands. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. So we will see. Yes, on the sunflower. Thank you. Oh, how to make the bow. Oh, it's so super easy. Here, I'll show you really, really fast. Let me, I'll show you really fast. It was like the easiest bow to make. Okay. What I did is I just cut out four inch strips. I have extras from the pink bow. So I have all four inch strips, right? All I did, literally all I did, is I laid down the bottom, the next layer. I took this one and then this, and then I just kept repeating that pattern until um, I did like uh, three, I think. So I did an X and then one down the middle. And then you go like that and then I don't have extra, but here, I'll do this as a percent one here. That, and then um, we'll do it and then a little diagonal. And then what I do is I just pinch the middle like so, and then I wrap it with some yarn. Let me see. And then that's where the fluffing and all that stuff comes in handy. Um, that's when you'll start to move them down and everything. So I literally, I mean, it's literally just stacking them on top of each other and then rearranging in a way that looks the way you want it to look. It's the messy bow, super easy. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I mean, there's like so many different things you can do with these stencils. I mean, you could go, go fun and do some pink. Um, you could do traditional and keep it black and white. A uh, little bit of a, a little bit of a pop of color up there. Um, and, um, you know, so many of these little, uh, the mini stencils that work really well with it too. So, you know, the little farm, sweet farm. So it is, um, my time. I will get this tag and I'll get you guys a finished picture. Um, once I get it all done, I say, you could put the bow on the pink cow and the Judy hair on the black and the Judy. 
Oh my goodness, Pamela. Girl, love that idea. Are they getting married? Are we gonna have a cow wedding? We should have a cow wedding. <laughs> it's gonna make her a veil. You guys, this is gonna turn into a whole thing now. <laughs> All right. I just want to say um, once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us um, and hanging out with us all day. We had so much fun uh, with you. And um, don't forget, we have a 10% off all day. Get in there and get those orders. If you wanted to um, possibly look into the craft club or um, join and become a creator with us and join our fun family, um, reach out to whomever invited you to this live and they will get you all set up. So once again, thank you, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys again later. Have a lovely day. Love and light, guys. Bye.